last AJ this morning at 9 o'clock. Then we still had crab legs left. And I said, yes, you mm -hmm. want them today? And she said, yes, sir, Big Daddy. And I don't remember that part. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Danny. This is hashtag. 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 <laughs> CCTV. Ooh. Uh -uh. All right, guys, welcome back to our eating show. Yeah. All right, we're back today with another Mubang, and baby, tell them what we're going to be eating today. Y'all know we got a seafood boil. Boil. So we got corn, potato, sausage. I like that sausage. little thing. Do it again. Do it again. Do what? Boil. Shut up, cut me off. Boil. Boil. Boy, if you don't get... Whoa. We got... <laughs> Man, gonna cut me off. Do that. We got crab legs. We got corn. We got potatoes, sausage, sausage. eggs, <laughs> shrimp, and some lemon. And yeah. Sauce, of yes, sir. That's what we got today, y'all. If you haven't already, please make sure you sub to the channel, y'all. Hit that notification bell so you be notified every single time again. It drops on hey, for the oh, yeah. And remember, remember hashtag grow baby girl hashtag because we close it. I go up a hundred thousand subscribers. So if you're new here, welcome, welcome, welcome to the family. Thank you for joining. We appreciate you. We appreciate you. And if you've been here before, y'all know the deal. Welcome back. I'm gonna go ahead and pray so we can get in this food. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we ask you to bless this food, Lord. Let it be nourished to our bodies and bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in Son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Oh, y'all. Get that water at the bottom. We recorded a five-second video. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Not a five-second. What's the matter? I was trying to tell you. Oh, I'll say. We tried that Dublin. <laughs> oh yeah. So we a little light, 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 light yeah. turn. Oh. Oh my God. Look great for Look great for Look great Look great for it. I guess they go with the lemon diamond chain. Yeah, I ain't mad. I'm finna eat it. All right, y'all. I'm eating the potato first because they, I know they good. Mmm. But you know they good. Ooh. Mmm. Baby. Mm-mm. It's good. It's like... I don't even know what it's like. <laughs> Sensational. Mm. Did you eat one? What? What did you just eat? I ate. I egg. I try to put little little slits in them so that the sauce can soak in. Let me see what this potato doing. Mm -hmm. How you got that lemon diamond chain with the V cut? Mm 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 mm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm. Mm. Goody, goody, goody. <laughs> good, 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 Ooh, where you going? It said, I'm tired of this church. <laughs> it is. Delicious. Mm. 
Y'all look happy. Mm-hmm. 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 This little corn be good too. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. That John hitting for it. Not hitting for it. Yeah, girl. <laughs> Am I the a hole subject for y'all? Just let me get my food out the way. <laughs> y'all asked AJ this morning at 9 o'clock. Then we still had crab legs left. And I said, Yes, you want them today? She said, yes, sir, Big Daddy. Now, I don't remember that part. Well, that ain't my problem. Hey, so you made it up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Come on. Oh, yeah. Nice. As much as I want to get more of these, y'all, that trip to Atlanta was rough. <laughs> <laughs> the traffic so We bad. went on a Friday. Uh, yeah. We went on a Friday afternoon. Hit I on. like to go during the week or something. We done been to Atlanta several times, but... I forgot about the shrimp. Mm -hmm. If you don't need crab. Let me see. Mm -hmm. How that sauce for you? Good. Got a little kick. Let me be kicking. Mmm. Let me get a few of these back home. What? Mm. The shrimp good too. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Everything's so mm -hmm. fire today. Mmm. Mm. Y'all, my husband know how to cook shrimp because I be having overdone shrimp and I didn't know that what was wrong with them. <laughs> to be honest, when you cook shrimp, especially if you're doing any type of submerging them in liquid, they just need to be hot. They don't need to be rapidly boiling. You can have a little boil to it, but they don't cook fast anyway. Mm -hmm. If you're cooking them like searing them, you know, you just need to watch them. But if you're putting them in like, because these was going into like a, a little buttery seasoned little broth. So I just made sure it was hot. I cut it off right before, I cut the stove off right before I put them in there. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm getting nice and tender.
we were talking about how, well, I don't think we necessarily got on this subject. Well, yeah, yeah, we were talking about how, like, New Year's, her dad used to buy a truck. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about last year. <laughs> Christmas time, he got, like, what, five pounds? It was like. Oh, wait. Yeah. Because it was enough. It was a pound for, like, each person. It was eight pounds of shrimp. We didn't eat it. And he was eating it as much as he can. Kept mm -hmm. telling us to eat it. I'm like, anybody eating all that Sir, shrimp? I, <laughs> I don't want it. <laughs> Baby, you can't with all this shrimp. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, some folks don't like shrimp. I don't think. Mm -hmm. I don't like to taste shrimp. I always have. My mama just recently started eating them. Mm -hmm. Boy, she used to be kind of funny with them. I remember I cooked some in the oven a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And she was like, like the smell of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> mm. The sauce is so good. Mm -hmm. hey, Everything good. I ain't even had an egg yet. Baby, I ate two. These onions in here. There's ham on there. Y'all, we gotta get our tree up soon before Christmas coming up. Mm hmm. This is a <coughs> am I the a-hole? Mm -hmm. All right, my mother-in-law moved in with us a month ago. Mm -hmm. I began to notice my stuff in the bedroom being moved and furniture being rearranged. Oh my hell no! Mm -mm. I felt like I was going crazy because my husband is the only one who has access to the bedroom, and he doesn't usually touch nor come near my things. I figured it must be his mom walking in and snooping on my things. I told my husband, and he said his mom would never. I had a huge hunch, but couldn't install a camera in the bedroom to catch her in action. So I got one of those fake positive pregnancy tests and threw it in the uh, bedroom trash not can. Not the setup, though. Mm -hmm. The trash can was placed in the corner near the closet. Literally the next day after I got off work, I got tons of calls and texts from my in-laws congratulating me for my pregnancy. Mm -hmm. My husband came over to my workplace and he was all worked up about it and asking when I learned I was pregnant and why did not tell him. I asked how he found out and he said his mom found the positive test in a trash can in the bedroom. I asked if his answer just confirmed that she's been snooping in the bedroom all along. He had a realization moment, but demanded we stick to the bigger issue. I said there was no bigger issue because the positive test was fake, and this whole thing was done to expose to expose my mother-in-law snooping. He had me take an actual test right in front of him, and he was livid. Asked me how could I lie about such a thing and break his mom's heart since I knew very well that she longed for grandkids. I got a lot of... S-H-I-T because of this from him, his mom and his family. And they're now calling me a liar and a manipulator. Baby, stay the f*** out of my bedroom. Why are you in my room? And I thought this was good to talk about because <coughs> one thing that I think is very across the board with AJ and my family, besides a couple family members, and that's only when people are over, is that we don't go in folk bedroom. Mm -mm. Like, I asked AJ Grandma to go in her bedroom to use her bathroom every time I had to use bathroom. And she be hot about it, but I'm like, I feel like a bed, your, your personal bedroom is very sacred to you. Right. There's things in there you, you may not want nobody to see. There's things in there just, it's your private space. Like, I. Even my mama, like, I used to go in my mom's room a lot. But, you know what I'm saying? She's not the only, that's not just her bedroom. And then, 
You know what I'm saying? I don't go in there unless she, you know, unless she needs me to go in there. The point is, there's so many issues in this store that's wrong. The fact that his mom is going in their bedroom without their permission right. is the main thing. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's ignoring it is another thing. Right. When he knows it to be true, he's going to sit here and and jump on his mother. Because, I mean, you got to watch some people. Once they, you know, some people are always going to be on their parents' side no matter what. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing you can do about that. That's just sad that that's how this case going to go. Right. But if I throw a, a fake positive test in my trash can, and you sit here, not only did you go in my bathroom, look at my trash can, take up the test, you <laughs> proceeded to tell everybody. Right, on the other side. <clears throat> it's just so many things wrong. But, like I said, some people are going to stick by their parents, mm -hmm. their mom, no matter what. And, you know what I'm saying? That's a red flag right there. Mm -hmm. I mean, they already together, but right. I'm just like, why well, be with somebody who's uh, who... The push on the show, even if you write in a situation, they're not gonna take your side, they're not gonna be beside right. you. Right. Like, I love my mom with all my heart, but if my mom is wrong, she's wrong. Mm -hmm. I don't have to reprimand my mama, disrespect my mama, put my finger in her face, and nothing like that. But, you know what I'm saying? I still have, if I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take my mom's side if she's wrong. Like, in that situation, I'll be like, Ma, I'll be like, you need to stay out of my room. Mm -hmm. Like, first of all, this is not, we moved, you moved in here, that's one right. thing. But the fact that you're going in our private quarters, first, this is something that we didn't have to deal with before you moved in. Second of all, this is, this is privacy. I'm an adult, my wife's an adult, she deserves her privacy. Mm -hmm. Like, stay out of my room, right. stop touching her things that don't belong to you. Right. Like, or you can leave. Like, simple as that. Mm -hmm. Like... I would never want to disrespect my mom or give her an ultimatum, but it's just it is what it comes down right. to. And if it, and if it was vice versa, it'd be the same thing. I wouldn't expect um, her to go. Oh, and, mm -mm. You know, that's just crazy. Like he ain't coming up in here. <laughs> Even like when we stay at my parents' house, I don't think AJ May has came to the threshold door of their bedroom. I don't know if AJ's actually been in it. Have I've you been gone in, in there. You I've have. been in there several times. Okay. But it was times I was either told to go in there. Right. I was invited back there. I don't just go in there. Right. You know what I'm saying? I've been and told to either go use the bathroom. Mom. Like, they'd be like, go use the back bathroom mm -hmm. and I'll go in there. Or you be in there and you say, AJ, come here. Right. Or and while your mom's in there, like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't just go back there. No. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't expect that from your mom either. Right. Like if your mom was to move in here, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? If you told her to go in the room for any reason or you invited her in there, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't expect her to just, you know. Be going in there. But the issue is that she's snooping. That's bright. Exactly. And then it's just totally. It'd be different if you just go in there. It's like there invasion of privacy, but then it elevated from invasion of privacy to just total disrespect. The fact that you're going to call around telling people that she's pregnant. Right. That's a damn shame. And everything based off a test that you saw in her personal trash can. That's just. That's and you don't know if a friend had came over there or any. Like, it could have been anything, you know? And then he just going to ignore it. Right. Talking about the bigger issue. I don't like that. No. That's the, like, that's really. Well, I think she should have lied. No. But. She didn't mom lie. shouldn't be in the She room. didn't say she anything. Lied. She didn't. She just put a positive test right. in the trash can. Right. She didn't say anything. Just and then Mama mad because she looked stupid. <laughs> well, then told all these folk. Right. Should kept to yourself. Right. I don't know. I wouldn't go for that. Mm. Why would you, mm -mm. <laughs> baby? Got me fooled up. Mm -mm. Got me fucked up. Can be gone. <laughs> Can't be going in my room, huh? Hmm. Think I'm starting to get full now. Mm -hmm. Baby, I don't know how they do me. Do these boys, y'all? I already know. Mm -hmm. Y'all, we do good these days. Cause at one point you couldn't get a peep out of me. Not a nothing. 
We be we be going out the whole video. Mm -hmm. Cracking and spitting. Not cracking and spitting. <laughs> crack, crack, push, push. <laughs> That's some good juicy crap meat right now. Uh uh. Mm hmm. Juicy crab. Mm. Mm. Honey, we ain't got a juicy crab no more. Mm hmm. That thing was short lived. Okay. I ain't even know when that bit move. AJ just said, ain't no more juicy crab. I said, what? <laughs> That's where they put that juicy kingdom. <laughs> well. Hate to say it, better replacement. Mm -hmm. Well. I told y'all about that experience we had when we went to go eat a juice crab. And the waitresses are arguing. It was hell in there mm -hmm. that night. And just this that one the day it was stinking, was it? Smelling like uh, old mock water. I don't think it was that day. Oh. Mm -hmm. One of them days, y'all, we went up in there. Mm hmm. One thing I can't stand is some dirty mop water smell. Ooh, mm -hmm. get that out of here. Y'all, before we go, I'm gonna take this with us when we go off for AJ's birthday and I'm gonna put it in his mouth. What the hell are you talking about? Don't say it like that. <laughs> How can I say it? Not be violating me like that. It's not a violate. Put nothing in my mouth. A what? Put nothing in my mouth. Martel, or you want Nuvo? <sighs> I don't even care. All right, y'all. Sorry, I camera cut off. Yes. I am stuck okay. to the brim. It was so delicious, <laughs> though. So, um, yeah, we done, y'all. Thank y'all for joining us today. We really do appreciate it. If you haven't already, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, drop a comment down below, let us know what you think. Subscribe to all our other channels, y'all. Go to our uh, couples channel, y'all. We doing Vlogmas over there. Vlogmas on AJ and Danny. Vlogmas on AJ and Danny. So go on over there, hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all watch all the videos. Run them up, run them up, run them up, run them up. Let's get us, get us monetized, y'all. Get us in the algorithm. So uh, both of these channels is thriving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember to share this video. Share it out because Shang and Scary don't care about us. Care about us. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Y'all have a good weekend and catch us Sunday or 